so this is gonna be my normal one card of holes. So let's see what comes out. So Spirit, what do you wanna say for the Divine Feminines? One card pull for them. Someone could be watching you or you could be watching someone else. This could be someone you're in separation from. What do they need to know about this? What do they need to know? The Divine Feminines need to know about this? This person could have brown eyes and dark hair and kind of look like that. What does Spirit need to know? Or you could. Be strong at this time. earth sign for some of you Taurus Virgo Capricorn but doesn't have to be listen to your intuition something new is coming with this person yeah you're getting through some kind of rough patch this is someone's counterpart or divine masculine okay don't try to make it fit if it doesn't if it's not your counterpart if it's someone new that you met and it's a you know a high level soulmate and they're also a twin that card's going to come out if this person is encompassing divine masculine energy it just means that this person is a divine masculine okay spirit's wanting me to clarify that for some of you <coughs> okay so that's what i'm getting that's what i'm seeing with that okay and what is the message for divine masculine so be strong at this time like you're coming through something someone's watching you very strange i don't know that's kind of odd it's kind of odd i don't know <laughs> i feel like you're doing what you're supposed to do though okay what is the message for divine masculine Okay, you could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or connected to one. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, you're in a cold and detached energy at this time. <sighs> Why? You're ignoring union? Notice how he's facing this way towards the fire sign and away from union. I feel like you're too focused on this fire sign, whoever this is. I feel like you're trying to build with a fire sign. Oh, you're trying to build with a fire sign. You, or may, not, you may or may not be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, but something is being reflected about some kind of conflict here or you could just be thinking about your you could be in a state of deep hermit mode i'm hearing because <coughs> you're seeing something that is being mirrored back so you could be this is not a coincidence that you are watching your twin or your person okay right investigating her or watching them the feminine and now it's reflecting something back to you and it's causing conflict in your life so i feel like you're about to realize that you are ignoring union or you have already realized this that inner union means outer union as within as without as above so below like i don't just say these things because they sound they sound um what do you say they sound charming i don't know i say them th those things because they are actually true <laughs> okay okay <laughs> underneath that truth spirit is saying yes exactly it is the truth you're gonna realize this <sighs> so 
So where is this person headed? Where is this person headed? Where is this person headed? Or, yeah, what do you want to say? So where is this Divine Masculine headed? I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So Divine Masculine is completing karmic cycles. You're headed to closing out something. You're watching feminine or you're watching something, okay, be mirrored back to you and you're like, holy shit. This is what they mean by twin flame. That's what I'm hearing. Yes. You're connected. And when you have a soul tribe, you're connected to the soul tribe. So I've, I've explained this to a lot of people before. And energetically, I can tell when you guys don't believe me. <laughs> I can tell when some of you don't believe me. And that's okay. Because I know what that feels like. And I've been there where I'm like a complete skeptic. Because sometimes I can be very literal. I can be very logical. And I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> so I pray about it and then, you know, I receive downloads or I'm shown, right, from the most high. So I can tell that a lot of times people go through doubt, even doubting the connection and saying there's no way that this is plausible, this cannot be a real thing. You know, you go, you run the gamut of trying to discredit this connection, right? But... This feels like someone that's realizing, wow, this is real. This exists. And there's nothing that anybody can do to stop it. 7-Eleven, as I said that. So when we are all connected and there's a soul tribe, everybody has their soul family, soul tribe. Okay. And... Whether we are in each other's physical lives or not, we're all connected through our consciousness, through our 5D, okay? Because we are a soul family. So whoever's on this timeline, we're all soul family, okay? I know some of you have reached out and said that, and yes, that is true, okay? That is very true. If you feel a connection to me or you feel a connection to other people, that's more than likely your soul tribe, okay? Your soul family. Um, and we're all more than likely so what happens is when you're on the same timeline you go through that same type of things you're going through the same cycles you're going you're learning the same lessons because we're doing it together as one we're pushing this timeline forward okay so i'm pretty sure if you're connected to me you're you're getting pushed forward you may not want to be you may not like to be but you are <laughs> okay because i'm feeling the energy of some people not refusing a lot of people digging their heels in the sand saying i don't want to do this or there's no turning back you start you signed up for this <laughs> there's some kind of balance yeah balance is being restored here balance is being restored and there's nothing that anybody can do about it because this is by design by our creator okay I was watching Hannibal recently, <laughs> the new one, with, uh, what is his name? He's an empath. Um, Will Graham. It's on Voodoo if you haven't seen it. Oh my God. One of the best shows I've ever seen. And he always says, this is my design. <laughs> maybe somebody's watching that or maybe that was for someone. I don't know. But... Yeah, somebody was confused. I don't feel like this person is confused anymore. Could have been this earth sign. Someone was confused. They're not confused anymore, okay? They're doing their work, okay? This person could be connected to a water sign, or you could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here, okay? You're going to be getting messages or communication soon, Yeah, because balance is being restored. Someone's trying to control someone from the past. This is a fire sign. Someone found out about this. I feel like the fire sign found out about this. Yeah. 
But this was meant to happen because someone was avoiding their own growth. Now they're going to have the courage to change because they're finally going to choose themselves. When your twin chooses themselves and not anybody else, not an addiction, not money, okay? You have to be not food. You have to be very mindful of this. Only when you choose yourself do you choose your twin. Your twin is you. So if you don't choose self-love, if you don't love yourself and you choose alcohol, food addiction, drug addiction, money, workaholic, work addiction, um, you're running from loving yourself. You're like this. I don't want to face my mirror. I don't want to face my truth. I don't want to change. You're not loving yourself, so you're not choosing them. So that creates separation, okay? Someone finally has chosen to love themselves, has chosen to bear their soul, to live authentically, to say, this is who I am, my flaws and all, here I am, I love you unconditionally, I love you as much as I love myself, right? As much as I love the most high, but I'm finally okay with being me. I'm finally okay with you seeing me, all of me, flaws and all. I don't feel like this person was okay with that before. 12, 12 on the timer. I don't think this person was okay with that before. They were not. They were not. Yep, they weren't. They had a lot of doubt. There's that damn willow tree again. One, two, three, four on the timer. They doubted that you would stay with them potentially or be with them. That's not unconditional love, though. That's what they... That's what you guys have to realize. That's not unconditional love. When someone doesn't really, if someone left you because you lost money or you lost your looks or, you know, cause life happens, things change. If someone is not gonna stick by your side through all of that, they don't unconditionally love you, okay? And I'm not talking about someone who won't leave you because of toxic reasons. I mean, someone who is really willing to say, you know what, I'm going to be here with you through it all. You know, if you gain 100 pounds or 50 pounds, I'm going to help you lose it, right? But that other person has to be willing to help themselves. They have to love themselves. And if they don't, they're not going to be able to love you. That's why toxic situations don't work out most of those people have deeply rooted insecurities that they're masking instead of transmuting instead of healing instead of alchemizing they're putting a band-aid on it you can't be an alchemist magician and you can't even alchemize your own wounding everybody wants the power but nobody wants to do the work <laughs> I've, I've seen that a lot Everybody wants to be able to create your own reality and be a, a good manifester. You have to heal yourself. And if you don't, you will have blockages in your manifestations. I think someone is realizing that. A few of you, a lot of you are realizing that. Unfortunately, that's the payoff. And I've had people even ask me before, well, how come there's super rich people who they're not healed, that's their sole contract. I don't know. Maybe they have contracts with something else, <laughs> okay? But they don't have contract, they don't have a contract with the most time that we have a contract with, okay? Just put it like that, okay? And that's what I firmly believe. 
That's my personal opinion. Other people don't have to agree with that, but we all make a decision. We all make decisions in life. And you can either choose to do your healing and choose, you know, to spread love and transmute and alchemize and do things with a higher capacity, with a higher um, knowledge, with your higher self, right? Or you can do things at a lower self. Who do you think is going to support that? Or what kind of energy is going to support that? An energy that is low vibrational, okay? When you look at it in terms of energy, if you're living a low vibrational life, that's the energy that's going to support it. If you're living a high vibrational life, that's the energy that's going to support it. And the most high, hello, that's why we say the most high, is our creator, okay? All you have to do is pray, go back to source, ask for guidance. Your soul contract is, and a lot of people get upset because they may have a soul contract that's completely different than other people. We're not the same. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different job here. Okay. And what your job may be might be easier than someone else's. Your job may be harder than someone else's and that's okay. Not one soul contract is going to be the same, unless it's your counterpart or someone who agreed to say, okay, I'm going to be the step-in twin, as I like to call them. I'm going to be the step-in twin that if, you know, something happens and they don't end up working it out, or maybe that was your soul contract, was to only go so far with your person and then get someone else coming in. You never know, right? We don't know. Only you know what your soul contract is, okay? Your higher self. So don't compare yourself to others. That's something I always tell people. You can't compare yourself to others because when you compare yourself to others, you're engaging in limiting thought patterns, limiting beliefs. The creator doesn't have a limit. The creator is the creator, right? So this is why you're always told to go back and pray, to go back to source, to go back to the most high. Because this connection is meant to lead you back. Okay? If we're all here imperfect, trying to ascend, right? To make it back <laughs> into heaven is what they say, right? You're going to be imperfect. But you're going to have to ask for guidance and direction. You're going to have to pray. And whatever that means for you. Everybody prays differently. We're not sheep. <laughs> okay? We are not sheep. Okay? So don't look to anyone else for answers. Look to the most high. Look to your own intuition. Look to your own inner guidance, as I've always told you. Okay? Even if you question something that I say to you. Okay? Meditate on it. We both might learn something. I learn stuff from you guys all the time. All the time. You guys teach me patience. <laughs> you guys teach me more empathy, sympathy, compassion, all of that. I learn from you. I don't think you guys realize that. But it's true. Okay? So let's see what... <sighs> Spirit wants to say, and I'm going to close out the reading. This is a reminder to be more gentle with yourself and others. The grace, sensitivity, and gentleness of the spirit animal echo the qualities brought forth when living from the heart. Dear. Yes. In Buffalo, abundance is coming. This talks about being grateful for everything that you have, you know, expressing gratitude and understanding that abundance is coming and liberation is coming. They also want me to use a prayer card. I did get prayer cards, okay? I picked some up because I was um, guided to those. And um, so I'm going to pull one now. 
I always pick up stuff that I'm guided to, so obviously it's my intuition. 2 Timothy 1 7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timid timidity, but power, love, and self discipline. That's literally what I just talked about. God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity. So probably being timid. I gotta look that up. I've never seen that word before. But power, love, and self-discipline. What did I just say? You have to heal to be able to co-create with the universe. You have to heal to be able to become an alchemist magician. Do not fear that you're not like others or your path is different. Okay. And timidity. Let's see what this means. Fear of the unknown or fear of making decisions. God did not give you that. But he gave you power love and self-discipline right it was societal program that tried to make you believe otherwise i've always told you guys that so it's time to stand in your power your love and your fearlessness 